Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province has been operating an education program for immigrant translators and interpreters with subjects including Korean grammar, the Labor Standards Act, and sexual harassment prevention. This year, 84 participants from 16 nations, including Vietnam, Russia, China, Cambodia, Thailand, and Mongolia, completed the program following the 45 who completed the program last year. Since 2013, Kyungi Province has been fostering fire investigation capabilities through the cultivation of related specialists. Such efforts have come to fruition with the province achieving the highest fire investigation success rate in Korea for the first half of this year. Kyungi ranked first among 17 area-wide autonomies with a 95.7% success rate in determining the causes of fire among 4,804 incidents that occurred in the province. Kyungi Province recently signed a cooperation agreement with Gapyeong County, the Bungmyeong Business Association, and the Kyunggi-do Market Revitalization Agency for the clean commercial development of mountain valleys. This project includes the development of specialized local amenities, such as resting areas, experiential nature centers, and signboards in a number of mountain valleys in Bungmyeon with the aid of provincial subsidies amounting to 1 billion Korean won. On July 24th, a medical law amendment for mandatory operating room CCTV system installation was proposed for Korean National Assembly consideration. In an informal meeting with National Assembly members, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung urged swift passage of the bill, stating that such CCTV systems are beneficial for both patients and medical personnel. In a recent investigation of real estate agencies, the Kyunggi Province Special Judicial Police uncovered a total of 80 agencies that had engaged in illegal practices such as price collusion and unlicensed operations. Of these violators, 54 were sent to prosecution, while the remaining 24 were charged with criminal offenses. The most common violation was unlicensed operation, followed by false applications and resale and housing price collusion. Kyunggi Province recently announced that the 2020 Korea Basic Income Fair, which showcases basic income as well as regional currency, will be held online from September 10th to 11th. Featuring discussions by world-renowned scholars and specialists, as well as exhibitions, this year's fair will be held in a contactless online format so as to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The 2020 Basic Income Fair will start with an online opening ceremony. This will be followed by the launch of a local government basic income council, discussions and international conferences on basic income, and exhibitions pertaining to basic income and local currencies, as well as numerous other events in which viewers can participate. On August 7th, Kyunggi Province launched home dental services for primary school students through the Denti online mobile app. The objective of these services is to ensure the dental health of children around 10 years of age when the development of permanent teeth is complete and significant dental care effects can be achieved. Since in-person dental examinations are being avoided due to the COVID-19 pandemic, these services will include diverse online elements including dental care education and the provision of customized dental health information. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.